Hi everyone, my name is Laura and I am the Program Specialist with Girl Scouts of Central Maryland and today I'm going to be walking you through the Brownie Household Elf Badge. In this badge we are going to create some new household habits that will help us to save energy, save water, save the planet, and have a cleaner and greener house. When you go to sleep at night, you are saving energy so that you can get through the day when you wake up. We can help the earth to save its energy and make electricity too. So how can we help to save energy and electricity in our homes? Let's take an energy scavenger hunt and find appliances that are still plugged in even when they're not in use and try to create a plan to help save energy. I wanted to start out my energy scavenger hunt in my room at my bedside table. My bedside table has this clock, lamp, and fan that are all plugged in on this power strip. So what I can do in order to start saving some energy is simply to just turn off the power strip when all of those devices are not in use. And before I leave this room, I make sure that I turn off the light. This is the control panel for our air conditioning system. And with this, we can set a schedule to have the air conditioning be using a little less energy when we're not at home. And also allows us to do energy tracking so that we can see the days and times that we are using the most energy with our air conditioning and try to use a little bit less during those times. And in the kitchen we have appliances like the refrigerator and the freezer that are always in use and the microwave and stove and toaster oven that are always plugged in even when they are not in use. And also in the kitchen we have this coffee bean grinder and coffee maker that are plugged in even when they are not in use. And so we can just simply unplug these while they're not being used to save some energy in the kitchen. Water is one of the most important resources on the planet. All living things need water in order to survive. So it's very important that we help to save and protect it. So now let's think of some ways that we can save water in our homes. Did you know that an average running faucet uses about two to three gallons of water per minute. So if you left the faucet running while you brushed your teeth for two minutes, you have just wasted about five gallons of water. So let's make a sign to remind ourselves to turn the faucet off while we're brushing our teeth and put it next to the sink in our bathroom. Using natural products or things with ingredients from nature is much better for our earth instead of using a chemical or a plastic to do the same thing. We can create our own cleaning sprays at home using simple ingredients. They cost less than the products you would find in the store and don't use any harmful chemicals. So the first thing that we're going to make is a tile cleaner. And so what you're going to need is vinegar, water, if you have distilled water, that is good, a spray bottle, and a funnel. Um, again, if you don't have a funnel, that's fine, but it just makes it a little bit easier to pour into the spray bottle. So I'm going to take off the cap of my spray bottle. I've already measured out one cup 
of water. So I'm going to pour that into my spray bottle. I'm going to use the funnel to pour it in. Again, that was just one cup of water. If you have distilled water, that works best. And then we're going to take our vinegar and we're going to pour out one cup of that as well. So it's equal parts vinegar to water. There we go, that's one cup. And then I'm going to pour that in here as well. Again, if you don't have a funnel, that's fine. You don't need it. It just makes it a little bit easier to pour in. And then I'm going to put my spray bottle cap right back on. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then I'm going to give this a good shake to really mix up the water and the vinegar. Alright, so that looks like a nice shake. And then I'm just going to take some tape and label my spray bottle so that I know what's in it. Since this is just a clear spray bottle, I want to make sure that if somebody else picks up this bottle, they know exactly what's in it. So I'm just going to put my tape on here on the side. And I'm going to label it Tile Cleaner. And then I'm going to do another label just to say what's in it. Because again, I want, if somebody were to come along and pick this up, I want to make sure that they know exactly what's in there. So my first label, I put tile cleaner. And on my second, I'm going to put one cup water and one cup vinegar. This way, in case anybody comes and finds my spray bottle, they know that it's a tile cleaner and that it has one cup of water and one cup of vinegar and that it's and that it's safe and doesn't have any chemicals in it. So this is our tile cleaner that you can use in your kitchen, in the bathroom, anywhere. And you want to make sure that you first use it in like kind of a small hidden corner so that uh, you can see what kind of a reaction it has to your tile before using it on a larger surface area. And next we are going to create a natural cleaning scrub that's good for cleaning surfaces. So you could clean your surfaces in your bathroom or countertops in your kitchen. And so for this one, you're going to need, again, I have here distilled water and it is half a cup, a mixing bowl and a spoon and baking soda and a measuring cup. So again, it's gonna be one part water to one part baking soda. So here I have half a cup and a half a cup measuring spoon. I'm gonna measure out half a cup of baking soda. So that was half a cup of baking soda. And then I'm going to slowly add the water in and mix it up while I'm doing that. I'm just going to do a little bit of water at a time and then try to mix it in. You can see the baking soda is kind of starting to stick together and make, to make a little bit of a paste. We still got a little bit of water left.
Oh, and as you can see, it makes this kind of goopy consistency. It's a nice paste that you can use to scrub on your counters. So you don't have to use all of the water that you have. As you can see, I still have a little bit left. So it's generally a one-to-one -one ratio to create this nice kind of pasty consistency. And then you can use this to scrub your countertops and your surfaces. Reduce, reuse, recycle is a really popular saying when thinking about becoming cleaner and greener. And there are lots of ways that you can do that around your house. And one great place to try to start is to reduce the trash that you produce. And one of the greatest ways to do that is through your food and reducing packaging and excess food. And when you go to the grocery store, you can use reusable bags like this to carry all of your groceries. And also this mesh bag that you can use to carry fruits or vegetables that are not pre-wrapped. And this will help you to reduce some of your waste when you go to the grocery store. The air we breathe is very important to help us feel healthy. The air inside our home can contain dust and chemicals that make you sneeze or make it hard to breathe. So let's try to clean up the air inside of our homes by using natural air filters. Natural air filters can be things like plants or natural deodorizers. House plants, just like this one, can help to clean the air within your homes. They can remove particles and gases from the air in your homes and then release clean oxygen. These are a great way to bring a little bit of color and fresh air into your homes. And now we are going to make a natural air filter. So we used baking soda already in our surface cleaner and it also has really great deodorizing properties. So it can take some of the smells that are in the air and take them out. So what you're gonna need for this is baking soda, a small square of saran wrap, a jar, if you have um, a mason jar that has a lid, that works as well, um, but any sort of decorative jar that you have, a rubber band, and some scissors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just pour some baking soda into our jar. However much you think, it doesn't have to be a lot. I did just this little bit right here. And you're gonna take your plastic wrap and put it on top of your jar. My piece is pretty large, so I'm gonna cut off some of this excess. Just set that to the side to use for something else. And make sure it's nice and tight on there. And then I'm gonna use the rubber band to secure it as well. If your jar has a lid, you can just put the lid on top of the jar. You don't need the rubber band. Okay, so I just have rubber band and the plastic wrap. And then I'm also just gonna poke a small hole in the top of the plastic wrap. There we go. I'll do two holes. So we have, I don't know if you can see them, but we have two holes on the top to allow for the baking soda to absorb those odors and then we also have the lid on top so that if it spills no baking soda comes out so you can put this in your refrigerator to help to deodorize your refrigerator or you can just leave it in your favorite room to to help to freshen the air in that room you also can add some drops of an essential oil if you have a favorite essential oil that you want to use and you can um, put that in here as well and make sure that you stir it up really nicely. And you also want to replace this every couple of months so that the
baking soda continues to do its job of, of absorbing the odors. Now that we have learned some ways to help save the planet and clean our homes, we can share them with family, friends, and neighbors. Be sure to continue these household habits while we are all staying at home. We at Girl Scouts of Central Maryland would love to see pictures of you creating new household habits. You can send those to us either in the comments below or in an email. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.